Goats have accents. I don't know why that pop-up showed up, but okay. Interesting information. Goats have accents. There you have it. This is Irene Navarin, and you're watching Salty Sweet Wren's channel! Hello, everybody! Salty Sweet Wren here, and welcome more- Welcome back to more of The Sims 4 Infernal Destinies challenges! I guess Irene has just started trying to work on the violin skill, and it's clear that she's a beginner. It's very clear that she's just beginning, and she hasn't actually taken any lessons, but... Hey, she's reached creativity level 4. That's good. It's a good thing that she's practicing in her own room, because parents are asleep. I should probably actually get them two separate beds, honestly. They... I don't think... I don't think that Destiny would want to be sleeping in the same bed as Kyoji after everything. Okay, I am ending it there. Go ahead and just, uh, put that away. Okay, that's not the spot where I put it, but it's a good enough spot, I suppose. And go to sleep. Goats have accents. I don't know why that pop-up showed up, but... Okay. Interesting information. Goats have accents. There you have it. Now that- now that Irene is an actual child, Destiny is actually going to go to work now. There's no reason for her to, like, actually stay home while Irene is actually... doesn't- doesn't need, like, 24-hour supervision. Right? Now that Irene no longer needs 24-hour supervision, and we have Kyoji back here, she's going to start actually going to her job. And Kyoji also has work in about four hours, and you have class in three hours, so we're gonna have times when nobody's home once again. She hasn't been in to work. She's been taking care of a kid, now she wants to, like... She's also dealing with the fact that Kyoji is back, like, she invited him back, but... I feel like she's gonna like start throwing herself into work, so I'm gonna have her work hard. You have your homework. Uh, you don't own this item. Who who does? Whose is this? Hello? Oh yeah, that's right. We do have this. I didn't get rid of this. We can set the cat stuff back up. It's not- it's not the horribly discordant sound it was before. It's still not incredible, but, you know, it's better than it was. Why don't you go ahead and fill all the pet bowls? Yeah, you don't like the fact that there's some filthy surroundings, do you, man? Wait, did- did you just- you didn't- I thought you- I thought you were gonna, like, empty it and then add it to the bowl. I didn't- Okay, well, I guess cats will just have to deal with that. Why don't you go ahead, and off to school you go, Irene! This is her first day of school, actually! This is kind of exciting! Go in that direction. Walking slowly. I- this is part of the reason I need to, like, move the house. I'm gonna- I'm definitely gonna move the house at some point over here. Probably while everyone's gone, I'm gonna move the house. Uh, I have no idea what this- Don't know what that was. You went to play the violin from being sad? All I can think of is that, oh, boo-hoo, let me play you a song on the world's smallest violin. Kyoji, your work starts very soon as well. You're very sad because of friend's death? What? Who died? Belfie died a while ago. Who died recently? What happened? But I guess, I, I guess somebody died that Kyoji knew. And off you go. All right. Now that everybody is out, I'm going to do a little bit of moving stuff around.
it's still... It's still not the best house, I will admit. It's still not the best house. But, you know... It is what it is. Missed bubble! Another standardized test. Irene is almost done when she realizes she skipped a bubble near the top. All her answers are one off. She starts to tell her, her the teacher, but realizes she'll have to take it again. It's really only for the state. It doesn't affect her grade. Let's see, I don't know what I- I don't actually know what Irene would want to do in this situation. I think for now, I think she'd- I think like she'd be trying to hurry. I don't think she'd quite realize like, this is her first day of school. I don't think she'd quite realize, like, if it, like if there would be any consequences completely. She'd be like, oh, I just want to get this done. So I think she'll just turn it in. Irene finishes the last few questions correctly and decides to hope for the best. The school likes to brag about its test scores, but how much can one test matter? Unfortunately, the teacher thinks it matters a lot. She assigns extra work for the next month to ensure that Irene catches up. Oof. So Irene's got extra work for a month now. I'm gonna have her, like, start trying to make friends. Like, I think that she'd just be interested in t chatting with people. Oh, of course, Masayoshi is the mail deliverer. Of course, okay. I'll see ya, Masayoshi. Oh, there's a cat! There are cats here! And you are bored from extra homework from a- Yeah, there's nothing fun about getting a double dose of homework. I am sorry, but that's just what happens. You got a promotion! Promoted to Lacking Corporal. Nice! You got... You got new clothes, apparently. Let's see, can you go jogging? An energized jog. Let's go ahead and do that. Looks like everything's a little bit slow right now. Okay, her clothes are kind of a complete mess right now. But that's alright, we'll, we'll clean up once she gets back. And she's in need of a break, and she is stressed from work. But I am, try I am trying to have her get that extra money. Should I read the invite of her classmate, Pax? I think Pax is a tiefling, if I recall correctly. I think Pax is from one of the infernal households, in fact. Don't remember. Oh no! Pax is not a tiefling. Pax is actually an... I wanna say an elf? Yeah, I think I think Pax is actually a moon elf. But is part of House Selimuth technically. Uh, because... Like, because, uh, his mom... Because his mom married the head of House Elemeth, so I... We're gonna have her invite him over anyway. She's com returned home with a school project, of course. No need to make room. Her work is merely satisfactory. Yeah, that happens sometimes. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the project out so that she can work on it in time. It takes, it takes so long for Sims to show up on this slide. I thought it was just me in my game. But I was watching some of Mira Ray playing the Sims 4 uh, Royal Family Challenge. And um, apparently, like, this, it's an ongoing issue. I always get so confused. I always think for a second, oh my gosh, it's got it's got to be Ileana. No, this is Kyoko. Okay. I don't think she's going to want to work on her homework or this extra project. But Irene is apparently very uncomfortable from nausea. What nausea? You're gonna do a rude introduction to one of the cats? Apparently you and your mom both don't get along with cats. <laughs> I cannot- I cannot relate at all. The Human Hijinx Festival is in town! Oh, <gasps> hang on, hang on! Uh, Irene's destiny is... Like, subscribe, and comment! Uh, she has to win at the Human Hijinx Festival! Choose a side. Are you a creature of mischief or comedy? Choose your side by indulging in the light or dark tea. May the best side win. Then you can light up the sky, stand-up performance, and devilish voodoo. So I think she's gonna ask Destiny, Hey, can we go to this festival? Like, the kids at school were talking about it. I, I guess it just started. Please, 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 can we go? And I think Destiny will be happy to take her. Oh, would, would, we, would we go with Kyoji? Maybe. And I think we're gonna go with Pax as well. We'll go... We'll, We'll go with Kyoji, and we're gonna go with Pax. Because Pax was coming anyway. I think- we'll say Pax is the one who told her, and... The reason Pax didn't show up here is because Pax invited her, like, Hey, can we, am I gonna see you at the, at the Human Hijinx Festival? I think it'd be really cool if you came, please! Alright, so you are happy because you've tried a new activity for the first time in the- First steps in the world of reading. Apparently enjoy reading. Mika is here, of course. Mika, of course, has shown up. And here is the Humor and Hijinx Festival. Jelrina Ziltog? 
Oh yeah, she is actually married to Selim now. She is Selim. She is Selim's new wife after uh, Selim and Mika apparently did not stay together. Yeah, there's there's some drama definitely behind the scenes, but yeah, we're gonna go here together with like the whole group, I think. All right. So she wants to be mischievous. Would that be hijinks then, more so than humor? If she wants to be mischievous. Would she want to join the, uh, pranksters? There's the pranksters and the jokesters. But she wants to be mischievous. So let's go ahead and we'll talk about school and impishly pester. Let's chat a little bit with Pax, because why not? Okay, maybe that wasn't really nice. Why don't you boost Pax's confidence? Like, come on, I wasn't, I wasn't being serious. It's just... I didn't know that yeah, it was actually a thing you could do, though, like, boost someone's confidence? That is actually a fun thing. And you're being yelled at by Pax, I think he's still kind of upset about the impishly pestering, so let's apologize. Okay, you're, you can hear from being a feeler. Well, there goes empathy, apparently. Okay, so we might have some trouble getting this- getting their friendship up. But, uh, why not goof around? I think that she is gonna join the pranksters, though. Kyoji is getting a call from Masayoshi. <laughs> hey Kyoji, it's me Masayoshi. I do think Kyoji is lying low right now. I have said this. Ky after everything, Kyoji is lying low. He is not going to reach out to any of his flings or anything. So we're gonna say, we're gonna say we're too busy. Destiny, which would you join? I feel like she would be more willing to join the jokesters. All right, Irene has joined the pranksters. And Destiny is apparently chatting with a bunch of people over here. Why don't you get to know Darshta Malik, fellow jokester? Do a friendly introduction. Okay, pranksters are in the lead by three. Keep performing interactions for your team to earn po pr points. We can convince her that the tea is poisonous. Why not? Because she needs to win. She needs to win human hijinks at least once as part of her destiny. We can actually get started on it right now, which is fun. I don't know who all is on which teams. I do want Destiny to have her best chance. She's making funny faces, so she's all she's automatically just kind of doing her thing. Uh, let's see, prankster, prankster. There's plenty of pranksters about. Uh, let's go ahead and do a rude introduction, because why not? I want you to go ahead and mischief? Imply tea sabotage. Because why not? And we've got superior social skill. Of course we do, obviously. Pranksters are in the lead by three still. Pranksters are in the lead by four. Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and mess with Simeon Silver Sweater. We'll do a funny introduction, because why not? What do you want to do, Destiny? Get to know Kyoji. Get to know Kyoji. I think that this is her her way of saying, let's go ahead and like try like let's try and work this out. That's her way of like wanting to like work things out. We can complain about liars. Let's do that. We'll complain about liars and then get to know Kyoji. Like complain about liars and then get to know Kyoji. Like. This is your your way of wanting to, like, fix things. Now you're telling an outrageous story. You know what? Fair enough. You know what? I didn't even tell you to apply to you sabotage. You just did it on your own. Okay, now you're ordering food yourself. Okay, you know what? This is fine. There's a lot going on here. Destiny can now compose and perform several new short routines. Sure. I'm sure Destiny, and I'm, Destiny enjoys having new skills learned. Meantime, you two are apparently having an, unpleas an unpleasant conversation. Great reputation. Great reputation for Kyoji, apparently. Oh boy. <laughs> Hang on, what is this? Destiny's sentiments about Jelrena is that she's hurt. Destiny feels wrong by Jelrena. What happened here? But Jelrena's sentiments is that she thinks that Destiny is cool. What happened here? Why why are you hurt by Jelrena? What 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 did Jelrena do? I am gonna be very confused. Pranksters in the lead by one! We need we need to keep this up! 
Okay, attempt introduction to Mika. Mika is a celebrity, that's right. Menzu. Hey! Mika allowed us Mika allowed us to respond. That's great. So ask about interests. I was gonna I was gonna have you prank at Mika, but I guess you can't. So let's go ahead and instead have you sing the prankster theme song. Imply jokester sabotage. I am seeing other pranksters doing our, doing their thing. Yeah, we're just gonna keep implying jokes or sabotage, apparently. You know what, that's fine. We're also getting a little tired, but that's all right, too. Keep performing interactions to earn our team points. Oh, hello? The festival will end in one hour. Pranksters win! The pranksters have received a voodoo doll, fireworks, and $500. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, that means that we won! We've got part of her destiny down! We already have done part of Irene's destiny, which is the Humor and Hijinx Festival. So, we've got that! She does have the fireworks. Can't she even set them off, though? She is a literal child. Let's go ahead and play the sparklers. This is Irene of Arn, and you're watching Salty Sweet Wren's channel! There you go. <laughs> Anyway, I'm probably gonna wrap things up around now. This has been going on for a while, but this has been fun. Are you pretending to be a magician? That is actually adorable. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, if you enjoyed watching this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribing is completely free, and it helps to support this channel and really helps me out. So thank you guys all so much, and I will see you in the future. Stay safe out there, everybody.